Hey guys, Bert the Stormtrooper coming at you from a new Mobile Command Studio uh, with a brand new version of Nerd Rage. So, um, so it's been almost a year since I stopped uh, making videos regularly. Uh, I'm a little wiser and a lot heavier. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, this, uh, I guess I'll, I'll give you a little bit of uh, what's been going on. The, uh, uh, but the purpose of the video, just, you know, head right ahead of time, is to let everybody know that I am going to start making videos again. Uh, I have been getting a lot of emails and a lot of messages and a lot of people asking. Uh, you guys have seen, I've, I've started sprinkling in videos uh, a little bit here and there. Uh, nothing regular. Uh, but a lot of people have been asking and uh, yeah, uh, I, I've, I've reached the place where um, I can allow myself to start making videos again and I'm really excited and really happy about it. Um, so just a little bit of backstory, what's been going on over the last year. Um, as you guys remember, I'm, I'm no longer working at the rocket factory anymore. That um, unfortunately ended and it did not end well. Uh, and that was a shame. Uh, that was a place that I considered big leagues and it was a place that uh, I thought I wanted to be uh, for a long time. This is a place that I felt I wanted to make a career out of. Uh, and it was very unfortunate the way that everything went down. Uh, and I took it very hard. Um, so uh, I've now, you know, later come to see that uh, it really wasn't the place for me. And, uh, and, I've, and I'm glad that I've come to that realization. I, I've landed in a place that is, is so, so incredible where I've landed now. Uh, and as usual, as, as I always do, I'm not gonna say names. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say where I left or where I went, uh, but just know that where I've landed is an amazing, incredible place that uh, nurtures me and it nurtures my creativity and my talents. And, uh, and, and everybody's been great, and I feel right at home uh, here where I am now. So I'm really happy to have found this place. And it's, uh, it's funny how things work. It's only after having found this place that I realized um, that the previous place wasn't for me. So I'm glad, I'm happy that, uh, to be where I'm at. Enough of that, going on and on. So, so yeah, so I've got, I've got a new job that I've been on for, for almost a year now, and I'm happy there. Uh, new command studio here. Uh, the mobile command studio has changed. This is my new permanent one. Uh, the other one, I still have uh, the little truck, the little purple Nissan. Um, I never told it. Uh, I guess I don't think I ever talked about that here, but that's a 96 Nissan little XE truck, and I bought that truck new. Uh, and it's still in pretty good shape. It's still in pretty good running shape, but uh, it was my daily driver. It was still my daily driver as of... Um, uh, three months ago when I bought this guy and uh, one morning on the way to work it's uh, I heard like this uh, jingling rattling noise for about 30 seconds it stopped and then everything started smoking up so I had the vehicle towed uh, to my regular shop and uh, my wife and I had already discussed uh, passing that vehicle on to my daughter my daughter's gonna start driving pretty soon so uh, we had already discussed that we were gonna pass that vehicle on to her and that I was gonna buy a new vehicle for myself. And uh, so when we had the vehicle dropped off at, at the shop, I was thinking that, you know, it's, it's a 20 year old vehicle, uh, at this point 21 years old. And, um, you know, it's, it's lasted a long time, but this is probably its last leg, just based on the amount of smoke that came out of that car. Uh, when I pulled over, I was thinking it was probably gonna be terminal. So let's just move ahead the timetable. Let's go get another car. So I went and bought this one. And literally, as I'm signing papers for this, I get a call from the shop, and it was gonna cost $100 to repair. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, all it was was uh, one of the pulleys. Uh, which one was it? I think it was a power steering pulley. I don't remember. Uh, it seized up, so when it did, it was burning the, the, the belt. Uh, that's why all the smoke and the burning smell and all of that, and it cost me 100 bucks to fix. So. So my daughter's still gonna get the purple truck. But in the meantime, I'm in this, so this is the new Mobile Command Studio. So that's uh, that's the story behind the new setting here. 
Now let's get to the meat and potatoes, the videos. So um, uh, I am gonna start making videos again. Like I said, uh, there are gonna be some changes. Uh, I'm not gonna do things exactly the way that I used to um, because uh, I, I've fallen into some bad habits. So a uh, couple of things, obviously, uh, I have a family and uh, and I need to take care of them and I need to pay attention to them. So they have to come first versus uh, YouTube. You know, I got to a point where I was kind of almost obsessing over making videos. I mean, you saw towards the end there, I was putting videos out almost every day and that meant, um, that meant coming home. Uh, from the moment I walked into the house, I went into my, into my room, into my uh, collection room and I was on the computer, either editing or loading or recording or doing something YouTube related and I was never outside in the house spending time with anybody else. Um, so I was kind of, I was isolating myself from the family. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be making as many videos. I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, another thing was the, uh, that's just prime. One of the things that, uh, that I really, really stressed on and that, that I, I stressed myself on uh, is I wanted to keep that continuity going. I wanted that's just prime to be a weekly thing. I wanted you guys to be able to go to my channel every Monday. There would be a, a that's just prime, um, and I did that for for a couple of years. Uh, and even if I knew that I was going to be in a place where I wasn't going to be able to record a video and put it out on Monday, then a couple of weeks ahead I would record multiple videos and edit them and load them and you know set them up to release on certain dates uh, because I wanted that weekly video and then everything else would load up as I thought of it if I thought of doing a, a one of these nerd rage videos I would do it if I did a blog at the house I would do it if I did anything that wasn't prime like the Ninja Turtle videos that I was making or Ghostbusters or anything else um, you know I would do those whenever and I would put those up so it became very time consuming. Um, so I'm gonna concentrate on, uh, on That's Just Prime, just like just the way I started originally, That's Just Prime. And I'm still gonna do other stuff. Here's the thing though. I'm not gonna kick myself in the butt to try and get them out every week. Uh, plain and simple, I'm just gonna get them out when I get them out. If I can make a video, I will make a video and I will put it out. If I can't, then I won't. And you know, a week or two might pass before I put the, the, the next one out. I'm not gonna stress myself over, I have to put a video out every week. Um, the, uh, the family has a very busy schedule. Uh, both of my daughters are in dance and competition teams. Uh, it's a very hectic and very busy schedule. So if I can make a video while I'm on the road, cool. If I can put it out, cool. If not, then I won't. So uh, that's, that's, that's the first change I'm making. Uh, the second change that I'm gonna do I'm not going to go out and buy things for the purpose of uh, reviewing them. Um, you know, I'm still gonna ask for your input. I'm still gonna ask you to make suggestions for um, things you want me to review. And if I have them and I can get to them, I'll be happy to review them. But I, I got into this uh, other bad habit. What it boils down to, I fell into a lot of bad habits. So another bad habit that I fell into was that I was going out and scouring uh, the toy stores or the department stores. I was scouring stores. I would spend entire days just going from store to store to store to store looking for things to review and I would buy things that I had absolutely no interest in just because I wanted to review them. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you know, I have better things to spend money on. Obviously we all do. So, uh, yeah, give me your suggestions. If I have it, like I said, uh, if I can get to it, uh, I'll be happy to review it. Why if I can get to it? Well, because if you've been keeping up, you know that I've been putting a lot of my collection away. I've been rearranging. Uh, um, I, I turned the garage into an arcade. <laughs> um, I, I, I kind of started this new hobby, which was uh, very therapeutic for me when uh, for, for everybody that doesn't know, uh, I mean, you've seen my ITT tech commercials, right? I'm sure you have. Uh, electronic engineering, uh, tech, uh, technology, electronics in general is, is my background. 
so I started working on uh, restoring and fixing arcade machines and collecting some of them, uh, which has been a lot of fun because I was a kid of the 80s. I grew up in the arcade every weekend. So uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun finding some of these old machines that remind me of, you know, take me back, take me back to a place in my childhood and, uh, and kind of bring them back to life. Uh, it's been an incredible journey, an incredible hobby that, I, that I've fall upon, fallen upon. So I've been doing a lot of that. Um, and so I've been doing some rearranging, obviously, uh, in the house. And uh, some of that meant having to take uh, the, a lot of the collection down. I had a lot of stuff that was up on shelves just collecting dust. It would, it, it would never even get looked at. Um, and you know, again, stuff that I was collecting and buying because, not because I had an interest in, but because, hey, uh, I think this would be a good thing to review and I would buy it and I would review it and then I would put it up on a shelf and it's just taking up room and I didn't even want that to be in there. So, uh, what else? Uh, I swear there was something else I wanted. Oh, I know what it, what it was. Uh, again, uh, going back to the topic of spending too much time on YouTube. Something that I wanted to do is I would not be successfully making videos if it wasn't for you guys watching them. You know, if you guys don't watch my videos, then I don't get to put out videos. It's just the way it is. Without you, there is no me. And I wanted to show you my appreciation if at the very least by answering every comment. Uh, that is a, that's one thing that I kind of set myself to uh, was that if you took the time to leave me a comment, then I was going to take the time to respond to your comment or question and thank you for watching. And, and those of you who have left me comments know that I have responded to everyone and I have always told you thank you for watching. Um, that's something that I felt I really owed you uh, as a thank you. Unfortunately, and it breaks my heart, but it has become, it became uh, prohibitively uh, difficult to do just because, it, prohibitively time consuming. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, prohibitively time consuming. It got to a point where I just couldn't keep up. I mean, you guys are awesome. You guys are leaving me, you know, you guys come to my channel, you guys watch my videos, you guys leave me comments guys ask me questions and I really appreciate that so much and I want to thank each and every one of you and it got to a point where I just I just couldn't keep up and again that goes back to I would walk into the I would walk in the door and go straight to the room and get on YouTube and I was either editing or loading or you know, responding to comments I just can't do that and uh, and you know from the bottom of my heart I wish I still could I believe me I want to go on every comment and at the very least say thank you for watching because I really do appreciate you I can't do that anymore it's just it's too much it's too time consuming so you know every now and then when I get the chance you know I'll, I'll, I'll st I, I will I read every comment I still read every single comment uh, if I can answer it I'll answer it um, but I'm not gonna be answering them as much as I used to. So, um, I think that's about it. Uh, so, um, thank you again to everybody for sticking with me this far, um, for giving me all these years, uh, and hopefully some more here to come. Uh, thank you for sticking it out this past year, uh, this hiatus. Um, I, I didn't know, I did not know when, when, you know, a year ago, if I was ever going to start making videos again, I really didn't. Uh, and I'm, but, but I really do love doing these videos. Uh, and I get such positive comments from you guys. You know, I really do love doing it. I do, I really do enjoy it. So I'm happy to have reached a place when I can, where I can start doing that again. So look forward, uh, to some new reviews, to some new, that's just primes some new uh, uh, nerd rages um, and other reviews as well, you know. Uh, I mean, I still have, my, you know, all the other collections, the Ghostbusters, the Ninja Turtles, all that stuff, I still got all of it, you know, so when I can review something else, I'll review it too, so look forward 
look forward to uh, more videos for me and I will look forward to making more videos for you. So, uh, how did I, I don't even remember how I used to uh, end these, uh, click, <laughs> I, I, I blanked out, I don't remember how, I used to always say the same thing at the end of the videos and I don't remember, so, um, so leave me a comment, uh, you know, click like, give me a like, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you see, uh, I remembered, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.